The Old Married Gamer here, Hatchet Television Networks. We've got a red box review, also a video game review at the same time. Resident Evil Revelations. I did not purchase this game yet. Spoiler alert, I am going to buy it. But um, Capcom brings a port from the DS onto the Xbox, a PlayStation. Let me point out right, right quick. This is Parker, Jill's partner. I don't know if that's a fan or a windshield wiper, but it looks pretty cool. And I want to say thank you to Capcom for making a portly character a heavy character, somebody I can finally dress up as and successfully cause a play. Like, you know, instead of being like Link, Fat Link, Lunk. And there's some things I want to point out. I'm going to speed through and then draw some attention to. Like right here. How does this work? Is that not rubbing your junk on a cable at like 15 miles per hour? Right there, look at this. And yes, his foot hooks up right here, but you're still rubbing your junk on some cast iron weave woven cable. I don't care if it's silk, you're still going to get some kind of rug burn. And right here, I'd probably get a fat roll stuck on one of those hooks. It's been 94 minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates puts them... Now there's a right flashback here. later on, oh, spoiler alert, where they find out about Chris and, and, and his partner, and... They're more than 94 minutes away, so they got there on this little crappy boat. Anyways, it's a video game. I know. Don't be so tough on it. So I'm going to speed through some of this. This was just getting used to the control. The control's a little different. It's kind of like, you can set it kind of like um, modern war warfare, that type of thing. I almost said modern welfare. No, I'm not on welfare. Anybody else thinking who the bell tool? And that was Jill stabbing the box for y'all out there looking for it. I want to point out, whoever makes that lock that can be shot off with one shot like that, your product is a piece of shit. So, listen for Porker. Listen. Her backup. She's still in there by herself. Oh, there he goes. If you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. So, let's speed through here. Porker says another interesting thing coming up right here. You think all the blood splattered all over the place is a sign of life? I mean, technically that should count, right? Because it's still fresh blood. <sighs> he's no master of unlocking, but still, he's got some good stuff. Hey. Look, right there, right there, there he is. I don't think we're alone. Now, Jill's no Batman. She's not the greatest detective in the world here. Look at the pudgy cheeks. The pudgy cheeks. Now, right here, this kind of drew me to a halt. That this is what I imagine, like just if water. I would have to imagine, the drain at Chuckles' house. That's what it looks like. Even Jill thinks so. So let's skip ahead. There's blood coming from the ducks. Now this happens between Resident Evil 3 and 4, from what I understand. Or is it 4 and 5? 4 and 5, yes. Resident Evil 4 and 5. So look, you have the Genesis device, which you can see into these something. blobs. And watch this right here. Again, her detective prowess. She thinks no. it's a gun. Give me a sec. So let's just stick our arm in there, Jill. Yeah, that sounds great. And here comes a zombie. Well, what's a zombie the first thing he looks at? That's right. So here's a zombie. He already checked her out. Now I was like, hey baby. I want to know who at Capcom got motion capture and skin details of me waking up in the morning. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's like after I fell asleep in the shower and my back's hurting. And that's exactly how I move. If I was wearing a Venom mask. So, we're going to go ahead and cut this short. There will be a couple of other parts. Thanks for listening to this right here. Old Married Gamer on the Hatchet TV Networks. Like, subscribe, comment, check it out. Let me know if you want to see the other parts of this video. All right? Peace.